All right, what is going on, Hustlers? Welcome back into Hustlepedia. Today, we are going to be diving into one of the most highly anticipated NFT crypto gaming land sales across the entire space, coming out of probably the most anticipated crypto game in the entire space, and that is Illuvium. The immersive open world experience where you go catch Illuvials, they have an auto battler, they'll have a separate companion app where you can actually build up your land plots as well. So we're gonna take a look at all the different tiers of the land, the opening price points, when and you can get involved on the land sales as well as everything we know about alluvium land today so without further ado let's jump into it if you're brand new to the channel be sure to drop down and hit that subscribe button we come out with multiple crypto gaming videos here every single week right on the hustlepedia channel as well like the video if you enjoy the video or if you're bullish on the future of alluvium and the alluvium land sale so without further ado Let's just jump right into it. And as we are seeing the visuals here in front of us, as you can manage your purchase land with the Alluvium Zero app, and you can start building up those plots immediately with the Alluvium Zero app. So you don't have to wait for the full game to come out. You'll be able to hop right into the Zero app and actually start building up your plots as fuel is required and land produces fuel so this is one of the biggest pivotal pieces of the entire universe of alluvium you'll be able to actually manage and sell your plots on the alluvidex as you see there and the land is finite so there's not just an infinite amount of land they do have five tiers of land as you see and we're going to go through the price points as well as the differences in resources capabilities and stuff like that for all the different tiers of land so without further ado let's hop into that and it will be in a Dutch auction style so let's just take a look at the overview here of the land as we see here you'll be able to build up your digital industrial complex extract resources create nft blueprints and reap rewards 20,000 plots will be available in the first sale so kind of like big time they're going to do a tiered sale so big time did a tiered sale with their spaces and here you're going to be able to have a hundred thousand total and the first sale is only 20,000 plots so once all land sells it will never be minted again alluvium games require fuel extracted from alluvium land making land pivotal to the economy so it plays a critical role as you extract resources and you can sell those to players across all alluvium games which can earn you revenue and you can scan your land for alluvials uh, to make blueprints for new skins which is very cool there's different regions of the land so as we see here you can click and you'll actually be able to see an overview of each region so let's go ahead and take a look at these as we see here the boreal region is a cold mountainous region we have the basil which is covered by wetlands kind of like the swamp lands of alluvium as we see here the halicon sea is a large landlocked coral reef we have crystal shores which is a ring of crystal that encloses the entire planet we have the labyrinth region which is a colorless sky dark gray constant low-hanging mist slicks the angular stone surfaces and as you see the common alluvials it does show what alluvials are common in each of these regions so think of it like you know in the regions in pokemon when you were able to find a squirtle more often in this area or a bulbasaur more often in this area it's kind of that same concept and as we see here the waste land a large desert area with bright red sand dunes and extreme temperatures with little water most everything is toxic here even some rocks and then we have the bright land steps which is a vast expanse of grassland that covers most of the eastern continent so as we see here those are the seven regions of alluvium and the lands will be obviously lied in those regions there are five tiers of the land technically six but the you know the base land can't be purchased in the auction and it is free that is not connected to revenue share so basically it would you know it it's just not it's not going to give you that same revenue share that other plots will as we see here tier one land would get you these type of elements starting price at two ethereum so that will be the starting price for this land for the tier one land production boost is zero percent as you see here it has one fuel site and three element sites and as we see here you move up to the tier two it has six element sites three fuel sites a 33 percent production boost so you get a massive production boost just jumping up from tier one one to tier two land and those are starting at six ethereum we see the tier three land with nine element sites and six fuel sites and those are at a hundred percent production boost another major jump one element landmark so you're going to get a landmark regardless on that tier three land those are actually 
actually starting at 20 Ethereum. So now they're starting to get a bit more pricey. So this is where the whales are probably going to come in, the guilds especially. The guilds are going to come in and eat these up, these big land plots, the tier three, fours, and five. And as we see here, tier four is starting at 80 Ethereum. So as mentioned, this is going to be the guild targets, the whales targets. One landmark, uh, one fuel landmark. So the first, the tier three has an element landmark. Here you're going to have one fuel landmark with a 300% production boost, 12 element sites and nine fuel sites. Moving up to the tier five, it will start at a Dutch auction and we'll go through that here in just a second, uh, but it's going to have 15 element sites, 12 fuel sites, an arena landmark, which is super cool. You're gonna have an arena, a battle arena potentially right there on your land plot. And as mentioned, a 900% production boost. So this is a massive jump up from even tier three it's a a 9x on production boost from going to the tier five land obviously the dutch oxen is going to fluctuate in price it initially offers an item at a uh, at an excess of the amount the seller expects to receive the price lowers in steps until a bidder buys at the current price and this will be a live english auction so when you take a look at the english auction commences at the floor price set by the seller participants raise the price by bidding until there is no further bidding at which point the final bidder wins and as mentioned alluvium zero will be the mobile and desktop app where you can go in and you can start managing and developing on your land plots or as they are calling it their digital industrial complex and then anything you need to know further regarding the land sale is right here on infoluvial.io they have all you need to know about the land they have the lore the land as well as the different supplies right so total nft land plots are a hundred thousand only twenty thousand will be sold on the very first sale tier five land plots only two of those tier fives will be sold so with the 900 percent production boost only two of those will be for sale in this first initial round. For tier fours, there will be 869 available for sale in the first sale, 2,000 tier threes, 5,000 tier twos, and 12,000 tier ones available for the very first sale, rounding out the 20,000s. And as you see here, the different elements that can be obtained in the game, uh, carbon, hydrogen, silicone, Krypton, Hyperion, Solon. So there's a bunch of different elements that you could be harvesting from your land as well. We'll take a look at the different uh, elements of the land themselves. So we have the region with the seven regions. There's five tiers and the location of your land will obviously matter. There's different bonuses per land and that, that comes with the production boost and all that good stuff. And when you go down to that production boost, as mentioned, uh, it shows the element sites and the fuel sites as well as those production boosts. You you know, going from even a tier two to a tier four land as a 10x on your production boost, obviously even just going from a tier one to a tier two, you're getting a pretty good jump when you consider a 0% production boost on that tier one land. Obviously tier fives, you get that arena, you get that 900% production boost. It's going to be very interesting to see where that auction ends up because, you know, as mentioned, the big players and the big guilds are going to be swarming in for those land plots. And we'll go down here. Total duration of the sale is three days. Plot sold per batch is 278 plots. Batches release every single hour and every duration of each batch I believe it says duration of each batch two. I believe that means two hours. Uh, and as we see here, the land sale is using a declining price model. So configured with a starting value that declines at 2.5% per minute, this will result in a minimum price of 5% of the starting price. So this is a live English auction. Starting price for tier four is 80 Ethereum, 20 Ethereum for tier three, six Ethereum for tier two, and two Ethereum for tier four one now i want to kind of go and read this because this is very important don't misunderstand the starting prices of the ducks auction are by no means the value they will be sold the value of the land remains to be determined so this is ridiculously high price ridiculously high prices uh so this is ridiculously high price and it is there to give everyone a shot at valuating it for themselves. Whales might FOMO in at the starting value, leaving nothing for the smaller bags. You might feel down because of this and you might not get a single land out of the sale. Do realize that all the revenue in ETH will go back to stakeholders, 100% of it. So a higher total of sales volume will only benefit stakeholders. The reason that the team has chosen a Dutch auction is because it's trying to avoid a gap 
asked for. And we saw this with the, uh, the Bored Ape Yacht Club, and they even mentioned it here, as you might have read about the other land sale. They had a total of $200 million in gas fees, over 55,000 land parcels. So you could see that the gas could extremely fluctuate with this. So they're trying to avoid that with this Dutch auction model, which I actually like. Kieran and the team, those guys over there at Alluvium, they've really calculated this out, and they know that this will lower gas costs tremendously, releasing them in batches in a Dutch auction style. They'll be able to manage the gas much better than potentially Bored Apes did with their sales. So anything I missed, you can jump in here on, once again, infoluvial.io all you need to know about land. I'll even drop this article in the in the description down below. But let's take a look at a couple of the land plots as I have some imagery here. And we'll go one by one as we see uh, the different resources on the land and the different types of artwork. It looks very, very sharp. Once again, you have like a metropolis type of thing. This is more uh, of a geared towards uh, industrial. I would say this is more industrial than the last one, which looked like it was more in the wilderness potentially. So this is more of a metropolis type of land and then we take a look here once again it's more in one of those regions it's embedded in one of those major regions with different resources and different production mechanisms across the land so guys i'm really looking forward to this sale i will be trying to get involved in some of the alluvium land myself let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on alluvium in general as well as the upcoming land sale be sure to like the video if you enjoyed the video and if you are bullish on alluvium subscribe to the channel i'll be back with another crypto gaming video here in just a couple days. As always, guys, stay bullish. Keep hustling. Peace.